Hi there. I have a very uh, strong message today on divine intelligence. Uh, back in October of 2014, I did uh, a webinar with Dr. James Gall that we opened up for anyone to watch free of charge. It was for about an hour and a half, and that is archived on xpmedia.com. I would highly encourage you to watch that webinar because it was the first uh, prophetic delivery of that message um, that God gave us because it's the seals are being broken open and people are uh, going to be coming into a place where they're going to be receiving uh, divine intelligence and the downloads, which I'll explain to you in just a moment. But um, I did want to invite you to become premium members of xpmedia.com because um, as a premium member, you get access to all the archives of past uh, webinars. And it's also, I mean, there's an, another ton of benefits as well, but it's also a way that we can monetize xpmedia.com. As you know, Christian media is expensive to produce and to distribute massive uh, price tags on everything that we do, but we love doing it. We love making the sacrifice because we can get the word out to many nations. On our live web, webcast, we often reach over 93 nations around the world on those and thousands of viewers at a time. And so it is worth it for us to do it, but the cost is great. So when you uh, subscribe for your monthly subscription fee, either to premium or premium plus, that gives us like a monthly offering from you towards the network, which helps it grow and it gives you benefit. So would you please pray into becoming a premium membership of xpmedia.com and tell your friends about the network. Please tell your friends about the network. They can go on there and feed their spirit, you know, just, just day in and day out. It's a 24 seven preaching machine with over 200 uh, valuable ministers with great messages uh, in, in audio, in video, in print, in all kinds of different things and, and keeps you updated on what God is doing on the cutting edge, okay? So I'll just leave that with you. But today, I want to prophesy over you the releasing of this divine intelligence to the body of Christ. On Rosh Hashanah of 2014, which was two, uh, September 24th, the Lord started speaking to us very strongly about the releasing of secrets and mysteries in this particular hour. Johnny Enlo, who also has a posting on xpmedia.com of his word about the angel Raziel, who is coming, meaning secrets and mis mysteries, who is being sent on Rosh Hashanah of 2014 to the body of Christ to release mysteries out of heaven, delivered this amazing word that was in sync with what we're getting. It was just days later during the days of awe that I was with Dr. James Gall and we got this download about divine intelligence. What is divine intelligence? Is it a word of knowledge? Not really. Is it a word of wisdom? Not really. Is it the spirit of understanding? Not totally. It is all of the above. It is what 1 Corinthians chapter 2, 16 says when it says, you have or we have the mind of Christ. It is like being filled with the mind of Christ. My friend Sean Boltz, who is a, who is a prophet, had a visitation of an angel in March of 2014. And when that angelic visitation came, he started getting these downloads. He would be in a meeting and all of a sudden he would know things about people, their names, their addresses, their things that had happened to them, things that are going to happen to them in great detail. And I said to him, Sean, the accuracy in which you are delivering these things is off the charts. How does this come to you? Is it in a like word of knowledge or something? Does it come like a word coming into your mind? He says, no, it doesn't come like that. He's like, all of a sudden I'm filled with the knowing. I just know every part of me. It's like I always knew. And he says, I speak out of that knowing. And the Lord said, that is divine intelligence and I'm going to give it to my people. Now, prophetically, I had an encounter um, in, uh, I think it was October of this, of, of this year, 2014. And in this encounter, the Lord took me into a vision where he was opening up the book of Daniel. The seals were broken and the body of Christ was walking inside the book of Daniel. And we were exploring all the depths, the layers of the scriptures within Daniel. And it's interesting because it says in Daniel chapter 12, verse 4, it says, but as for you, Daniel, conceal these words, that's the whole book of Daniel, 
and seal up the book until the end of time. Now, if God's giving vision that the book is being opened, that means that in this time, it is being opened to us. And we'll, and he said, many will go to and fro or back and forth, which is happening today. This is a sign of the end times. We're going to and fro. I go to and fro every week in my ministry. I usually go out on a Wednesday or Thursday, come back on, on Thursday. Um, for the last couple of years, I've been doing all these global tours around the world, to and fro into the nations. And that is a sign that it is the end of the age. We don't know how long the end of the age will be. Maybe it'll be a thousand years. Maybe it'll be two days. I don't know. But it says many will go to and fro. Many will go back and forth. And listen to this. Knowledge will increase. Knowledge will increase in these days. Why? Because God is giving his people divine intelligence. Are you ready to receive it? Get ready. Because with this divine intelligence, there are going to be divine strategies and blueprints for building businesses, solutions to government issues, solutions to war problems and issues around the world, the knowledge of witty inventions. There'll be business strategies, economic strategies, and the people of God, even children. The Lord showed me prophetically that even little children are going to walk in an intelligence that will cause many to stand in awe. You're going to start hearing about this and seeing evidence of this in the days to come. I want to give you one more scripture and then I'm going to release this prophetic decree over you. But in Daniel chapter 1 verse 4, we see that the king of Babylon, at this time the sons of Israel were in captivity to Babylon. Babylon was a brutal nation. It was a heathenistic nation that was very harsh and brutal and cruel. There was darkness in it. I mean, they weren't a loving nation. And yet it says that the king was asking for the youth of the sons of Israel to be brought to him. It says, youth in whom is no defect. That means no moral stain. No moral stain. He wanted purity. Interesting, isn't it? Even, you know, people in the world today are looking for, for, for those who are pure. The pure will shine because we're so rare. Who were good looking. I always thought that word good looking there meant physical appearance. It doesn't. When I studied it out, it means those who are ethical and looking good in their intelligence. Showing intelligence, and this is divine intelligence, in every branch of wisdom, endowed with understanding and discerning knowledge, and who had ability for serving. I love this. He was looking for those with divine intelligence. And you know what? He got it. It says in verse 17, as for these four youths, God gave them knowledge and intelligence in every branch of literature and wisdom. And when you look up the word wisdom there, it means um, in the branch of, of uh, uh, government, of war, in administration, and in ethics. Come on. This is what they had in that day. But the latter glory of the house is greater than this former, for sure. What is coming is going to be so outrageous, and it's going to especially hit the younger generation. I prophesy this hour of the release of divine intelligence in this day. I prophesy over you, over your loved ones who are following God. I ask you to commit yourself to God right now. Consecrate yourself. Separate yourself. This level of divine intelligence is not going to work well if there's a mixture of sin and immorality in a person's life. This is going to shine brilliantly in those who are pure and ethical and, and have integrity and moral, moral values with no moral stain. And so I decree over you the preparation to receive divine intelligence. One of the keys that God has given to us is praying in tongues. I want to invite you to pray in tongues for at least 15 minutes every day. And also ask the Lord for interpretation. So pray in tongues and then ask him for interpretation. Pray in tongues some more and ask for interpretations. If you don't pray in tongues yet, go on my online bookstore. And I have a CD called Tongues and a book called Tongues. And get the download of those right now. Because most people, before they finish listening to that audio message, are filled 
with the Spirit and speaking in tongues. Okay, it is going to be a very important gift. It says in 1 Corinthians 14, 2, that when you speak in tongues in your spirit, you're releasing mysteries and secrets. It says in Deuteronomy 29, 29, the secret things belong to God, but the things revealed belong to us and to our children. Seek and you will find. You are a candidate to receive divine intelligence.